Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I am your host Faraz. So we will continue with the topic recursion and backtracking and we are here with another question. This is permutations 2. We have already covered the permutations 1 in the previous videos. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to do it. Or if you know how you are going to permute a given string or a given vector, then it is okay, you can continue with the video. But you should know the process of doing permutation using recursion. There is a prerequisite for this video, okay? You can find the video in the playlist somewhere over here. Okay, so let us continue with this question. Permutations 2. What's the difference here? In permutations 1, we were given all the numbers as unique. Now here we are given duplicate numbers, okay? So now we will see how does duplicate numbers impact the permutations. First of all, how do we find permutations? I will just briefly explain it. So let us say I have two alphabets, A and B. I want to find the permutation of A and B. Obviously, we'll know that the permutation of A and B is AB and BA. These two are the permutations. But how do we solve it using recursion? So in recursion, we will see that this string is of size 2. So at the first location, I will try to place each of these characters one by one. So first of all, I will place A here. When I place A here, what is left? B is left to process. Okay. So the uh, at the second location, B will come. Now again, at the first location, I can also place B. Now what is left? A is left in this case and obviously A is going to come at this location. So basically there are two permutations. Now let us say if I have A, B and C. Okay. So again, three places. I will try to keep each of these alphabets at the first place. First of all, I will place A here. Now when I place A here, what is left? B and C. And two places are left. Now I need to permute B and C. I will do that using recursion. So I will ask recursion to do the permutations of B and C while I myself is going to keep A at the first place. Okay. I will see that if I call recursion on B and C using this same um, this same algorithm, there will be two permutations B C and C B. So corresponding to A at the first location, we will have B C and C B. Okay this part recursion will do and this is what we are doing again at the first location I can also place B if I place B at the first location then I will be left with A and C I will be left with A and C and I will be left with these two places now again using recursion I will get AC and CA and similar way when I keep C at the first location I will again get two permutations so this is how we are able to generate six permutations Alright, so this was all about uh, how to find out permutations using recursion. If you still don't get it, I would again tell you to watch the complete video which is in the playlist. I think uh, that is the second video of the recursion which I have covered. You can just watch it. Now if I want to permute 1, 1 and 2, again let me just denote it by A, B and C. So first of all, I will be placing A at the first location, that means 1. So A I fixed at the first location and I want to permute B and C that is 1 and 2 at these two locations. So I will be able to find BC and CB. So that means 1, 2 and 2, 1. So these are the two permutations when I fix 1 at the first location. Correct? Now let me place B at the first location. Again B is 1. So placing B at the first location I will be left with AC. So I will get AC and BCA. Uh, if I want to find the equivalent of this, this will be 1, 1 and 2 and this will be 1, 2 and 1. Now can you see something? We are having duplicates over here. So we are having 1, 1, 2 at this place over here and 1, 1, 2 at this place over here. Again 1, 2, 1 and 1, 2, 1. Why do we have these duplicates? The reason why we have these duplicates is because of these two ones. They are both same and when we are placing A at the first location or when we are placing B at the first location both are equal to 1 that is why they will generate the same permutations if I place 1 at the first location I should not place 1 again at the first location otherwise it is going to generate duplicates this is the problem right so if I have the same numbers, if I have the duplicates, I should not place the duplicates at the same location again. I should avoid placing one here again when I'm finding the other permutations. So I should avoid placing one. So how can we do that? I'll just make slight changes in the code, in the first code that we had for the permutations. I'll just copy this. 
the entire thing and I will paste it over here uh, the name of the function is not same that's why I just copy this one and paste it over here and remove this function name okay now this code should work but it should also return us the duplicates okay it is returning us the duplicates permutations at 1 1 2 here 1 1 2 again 1 2 1 1 2 1 again so I need to avoid it somehow and how can I avoid it so at the ith location I should not place the same number again so what I need to do is at the ith place so we are at the ith place you can see here we are at the ith place and at the ith place I'm trying to place each of the remaining characters one by one okay so let us say uh, this is the ith place first place and at the first place I am trying to keep each of the characters that is A, B and C or each of the numbers one by one okay but I should avoid the same number at the ith location again so for that I will keep a set set of type int or maybe unordered set we can also create unordered set so that we have a better complexity we are creating a set S let me just make it unordered now this set will contain that what number we have already used at this particular location so if s dot find nums of j if it is not equal to s dot end that means this number has already occurred at this location then we will just continue okay otherwise first of all we will insert this number into the set that we have used this number at this particular location i once so I'm just including this so that next time so when the next time this number comes again I can just ignore it okay so I think that's it let me just try to run this again this is the only uh, change that we need to make to avoid duplicates and that's it there you go we got it accepted so so here uh, we are just using some extra space to store the elements in this set and if you talk about the time complexity is it same time complexity is same okay so let me just do the dry run as well because most of you guys they uh, you ask me to do a dry run that means to run the code by taking an example so let me just do that taking an example of 1 1 and 2 okay so first of all the i will be 0 so I'm talking about this place so at this place I will try to keep each of these numbers one by one so first I will keep this one okay if I keep this one then I will be left with 1 and 2 to process so I will call recursion on 1 and 2 I will be having 1 and 2 and then two places to store 1 and 2 okay so again I will try at this place I will try to keep 1 and then 2 so I will try to keep 1 at this place then I will be left with 2 then I will call recursion and in the recursion only 2 will be left so 2 will come at this location now again when I try to place 2 at this location 1 will go to the next recursion call and 1 will come here so for 1 at the first place these two permutations are there now again at the, we're talking about the first place again so the next element is 1 we will try to keep 1 here but as 1 has already occurred at this place we will just ignore this okay we will just ignore this so we'll go to the next element that is 2 so we'll keep 2 at the first place if we keep 2 at the first place we are left with 1 and 1 and then 2 places to put them I will do a recursive call on this and I will place 1 here okay then at this location 1 is left again when 2 is at this location I can keep another one here but I will not do that because I already have one at this location so I will just skip this one and that's it okay so this is what we have finally so this was the dry run I hope you understand the code so the main difference here is at the ith location so as we can see here when we are at the ith location we are trying to keep each of the remaining numbers one by one at this location but we want to avoid having duplicates or the same number again at this location that is why we are using the set here so as soon as we put a number at the ith location we will insert this number in the set so the next time when this number come we will know that this number has already occurred the, at the ith location using this condition if that number is already there inside the set it means it has already occurred at the ith location and we will just continue that we will not place that number again at that location otherwise it is going to give us duplicates the same permutations so we will just ignore this 
all right i hope you understand the code i hope you understand the logic so this is a simple problem you can just try and try to code out yourself and if you guys like the video if you guys like my content if you want me to make more such videos in future make sure to like and make sure to leave your comments also hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for the latest videos